This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Brothers and sisters, subhanallah Welcome back to one of the most exciting shows on Iman channel It is the quest for Umrah And yes, we are halfway, brothers and sisters During the last three episodes, we had three winners Subhanallah, go into the grand finale So that's three, six, nine in total And there's only nine spaces up for grabs uh, Nine families left in the next uh, two or three episodes Inshallah, that will have their opportunity to go To the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That is right, we are on episode four And brothers and sisters, we're going to take you through the rules Before we go into today's questions Inshallah Now if you are new to the show And you want to find out about the format 18 families go into the grand finale on Saturday the 6th of April inshallah for a chance to win a trip to Umrah we contribute 3000 pounds towards the total inshallah so we want all of you guys to come together remember brothers and sisters one of the rules is that let it be on your conscience that we trust that you are inshallah truthful and brothers and sisters any cheating anything uh, you know suspicious brothers and sisters that is between yourself and Allah Azza wa Jal going to Umrah having that heavy heart Allahu Akbar but getting into the rules due to the time delay in your TV transmission please play on your mobile uh, phone or your similar device inshallah whether that may be a tablet or something of that effect and to register all you need to do is go onto the browser imanchannel.tv forward slash quest for Umrah. Now we're going to wait for the contestants, the participants to come into the room inshallah. And how do you win? It's not only answering correctly, but you have to be super lightning quick. Yes, the fastest correct answer will score the most points, mashallah, as we will update you with the leaderboard as we go along. We're just waiting for more participants to join inshallah. Come in and get involved. Have fun inshallah. Halal entertainment for all of you. And as we said, the top three families go through to the finals and that's the top three on the leaderboard today inshallah fastest on the buzzers inshallah will uh, secure a spot in the final inshallah and what an amazing final we have already with some strong teams in their families that finish in the top three obviously must provide proof of their ranking by taking a screenshot at the end of the show the screenshot should be sent along with a contact number via Iman channel to contact you and there is the email underneath questforumrah at imanchannel.tv we will show you and display the three winners at the end inshallah and we inshallah remember brothers and sisters don't forget to say bismillah don't forget to inshallah start with the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are going brothers and sisters to start very shortly inshallah that is the format and we are almost ready to go shall we take a look at the prize is Umrah. Let's have a look at the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The chance with the place that they are going to go. The winners, mashallah, what a trip of a lifetime. Bismillah, can't wait, subhanallah. And that is, I believe, live as well as we speak. Now, yes, going back to us, inshallah, here in the studios, brothers and sisters, the people are joining. Uh, if we can show all of the people uh, that are joining, inshallah, if we could turn up the uh, the headset uh, and brothers and sisters yes get into the lobby and maybe give salams to one another I'm not sure if you can give salams to each other inshallah but look who the competitions are and I love always 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 love to see the family names should we start let's get on with it inshallah you guys ready the first is always the general knowledge round we have seven questions inshallah let's get on with it right question one bismillah 143 players in there inshallah let's go Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Who discovered penicillin? Yes, who discovered penicillin? Uh, was it Harmon Moss? Was it Stuart Adams? Was it Alexander Fleming or Doctor Who? Mm, do you remember Doctor Who? SubhanAllah, great show. Subhanallah. Right, okay, here we go. Yes, and the answer is... Do we get it, brothers and sisters? Do you think you got this one right? Inshallah. 
I'll be honest, I do not have a clue. I know what penicillin is, but I have no clue. And it is Alexander Fleming. That is correct, mashallah. 104 families got that correct. So the majority of the people, mashallah. We've got Team Thinky. They are back, Team Casper, but it is Team Croc. Those crocodiles snapping at first position. You see what I did there, mashallah. And we've got Sheikh Google. They've got, oh, they've even put their name as Sheikh Google. Subhanallah. We don't want to hear that, brothers and sisters. Come on, let's play nice. Let's play halal, inshallah. Remember, we are going to Umrah. Right, question two, inshallah ta'ala. And they've done it in Arabic, thinking we won't be able to read it. We know who you are. We can read that, inshallah. Right. Next question is, in which county would you find Shrew, Shrew, there's a tongue twister, Shrewsbury. Which county would you find Shrewsbury, brothers and sisters? You've got to get your UK caps on tonight, inshallah. And the answer or the questions are, uh, options are Somerset, Shropshire, Essex or Hertfordshire. And the answer, drum roll please. Yes, the answer is Shropshire. And interesting fact, I think that's where Sheikh Abdurrahim Green's from. SubhanAllah, don't tell him I told you that. But we don't know where he lives anyway. But yes, in that county as well. MashaAllah. Excellent. Right, let's go to question three, brothers and sisters. Before we do so, it is Sheikh Google in the lead as a fish. And Skipper, we've got Sue, we've got the Cristiano Ronaldo ones going on. And Vroom have taken over, followed by Cake and Thomas the Tank Engine. MashaAllah, we like it. And I like the bottom name, Hollywood. I like that, SubhanAllah. I wonder what that stands for. We have Hollywood, Bollywood, Nollywood. So what's Hollywood? SubhanAllah, right? We're going to keep going. There's more players joining us. 169 players, 169 teams. Right, question three. How much does the average male hippopotamus weigh? Right, I've been to Kenya and I've seen how big they are, subhanAllah. Uh, how much does the average hippopotamus weigh? I think even a better question would be, can you spell hippopotamus, not just hippo? Right, we've got five seconds on the clock. Fastest to answer, gain and accumulates the most amount of points. And it is to, oh no, it's actually 1,500 to 5,000 kilograms. All oh, right, it wasn't the majority that time, but Snuggles has come. The cats are here and they are crawling, crawling their way. They are meowing their way to the top, mashallah. It is Vroom still in the lead with their van full of khayr, inshallah, maybe Zamzam. And, sorry, can you repeat that? And Croc has uh, plummeted all the way down. There's no snap to his bite anymore. Right, let's continue on, inshallah, brothers and sisters. It is hotting up at the top, and I love it. Competition is always good. Right, who is known as the father of the World Wide Web? As father of the internet, brothers and sisters, is it Stephen Hawkins? Is it Tim Berners-Lee? Is it Mark Zuckerberg or Thomas Edison? Now, I definitely know this one, and I only know it by power of elimination. There's your hint. I'm not giving any more hints, brothers and sisters. Five seconds left. Who do you think the father of the World Wide Web is? Is yes, it is Tim Lee Berners, right? That's right, Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, Stephen Hawking, subhanAllah, and uh, Thomas Edison. I believe he invented the light bulb. Uh, are not the answers right? Okay, let's look at the board again, inshallah. We've got Nemo, we've got the hustler, subhanAllah, and we've got Itachi in there with a little penguin called Pingu. But it is Magical Rhino. They have come into pole position and underneath that is Klopped out. I think they mean Jurgen Klopp and they're referencing Liverpool there, subhanAllah. So all you Liverpool fans, I hope you enjoyed a couple of weeks ago. MashaAllah. All right, <laughs> let's go on to the next question, subhanAllah. It is question five of 21. Yes, with two questions to spare. Who is the first female chancellor of Germany? Ooh, interesting question. Is it Margaret Thatcher? Is it Berta Benz, Sophia Scholl, or Angela Merkel? Who was the first female chancellor of Germany, Almania? Right, subhanAllah. And I have no idea. Once again, brothers and sisters, it is quite a political question. I really don't know, subhanAllah. And I don't know. What do you think, guys? And fastest on the buzzers, it is Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel is 84 families got that correct and yes, very clever ummah we have on our shoulders. MashaAllah, it would it be the magical rhino, but I think Maverick has taken a couple of steps forward in the right direction. They have uh, pushed themselves up and Mansoor Safdar is in the house, MashaAllah, along with Ashley in second place. Let's go to the next question. 
Oh, there's a little bit of fighting in there. SubhanAllah, be nice, guys, be nice. What is the largest desert in the world? What is the largest desert in the world? Now, brothers and sisters, interesting fact. If you add another S in there, it turns into dessert. SubhanAllah, that would have been probably a banana split. Is it Gobi, Sahara? Is it Antarctica or Arabian? Gobi, oh, never heard of that before. Is it Arabian Desert, Antarctica Desert, Sahara Desert or the Gobi Desert? You got four seconds on the clock. It is indeed the Sahara. Now, brothers and sisters, I would have been worried if we got that one wrong. Allah. <laughs> yeah, subhanAllah. Oh, Gobi, is that, does that reference Alu Gobi? All you Urdu speakers out there, mashallah. All right, let's see the leaderboard once again and where we are in terms of the points. Mashallah, magical rhino, they are hanging on. But that isn't a rhino, that's a unicorn, guys. Come on, what is with uh, everyone today, subhanAllah? And Zayan is in. The mix as well in the top 10, inshallah. Let's go and quickly get the last question in before the break. What is the largest island in the world? Yes, the largest island in the world. Right now, I'll tell you what, it's not United Kingdom, brothers and sisters. Is it Greenland? Is it Baffin? Is it Borneo? Or is it Sumatra? Which is the largest island out of the four in the whole entire world? You got 10 seconds on the clock, inshallah. And we'll probably take a look at the leaderboard after the break. But let's just see the answer before we do uh, that inshallah and the correct answer is Greenland yes Greenland Island does anyone actually live there of course they do subhanallah right brothers and sisters we're going to catch you straight after this break and we'll come back with the leaderboard <laughs> This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours.
this show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours. Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Yes, what an amazing first round that was, the general knowledge round, subhanAllah. And I'll tell you what, things were hotting up at the top, mashallah. It looks like we've got a lot of brain boxes in the ummah because you can see from brothers and sisters, the leaderboard, how close it actually is, neck and neck. Let's take a look. It is Magical Rhino still in the lead, followed by Pingu, followed by Nemo. Now, has Nemo been found or not? Who knows? Uh, Elsa Croc, we got Itachi Shah, Metal, Zoro's in the house, mashallah, with his sword and the Hustler 8-ball in bottom position or in the top 10, I should say, not even bottom. Because we have 180 people playing tonight, subhanAllah, so what an achievement to make it to the top 10. Our next category, brothers and sisters, I believe it is on the lines of sports. Yes. So let's delve into that, shall we, inshallah. Question 8, brothers and sisters. And fastest on the buzzer. Which country hosted the 2016 Summer Olympics? If you've been watching, subhanAllah, if you remember, was it Argentina? Was it Japan, Brazil or Australia? 2016, subhanAllah, roughly brothers and sisters, what? You know, uh, almost 10 years ago. Allahu Akbar. And the answer is... Da -da 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 -da. It is, mashallah, three seconds on the clock. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. It is Brazil. Yes, it was Brazil held in Rio, uh, Sao Paulo and many places as well around Brazil. Mashallah, 2016. Yep. And do we have uh, any change in the leaderboard? Shah, the, uh, is that a fox? Is that a rabbit? I actually can't really see. But they have moved up. Croc is in fourth position. And Metal is in seventh position, subhanAllah, or uh, sixth position, so I'd say. Right, Zoro, what's going on? You're, you're looking a bit, you know, tired, a bit weak there. Come on, put your mask on and climb to the top. Right, we have more. That robot's causing a lot of problems in the middle. Little fitner, mashallah. Right, question nine. What sport is known as the beautiful game? The beautiful game. Is it hockey? Is it golf? Is it cricket or is it football? Now, I'll be honest with you. I thought it was a different option that's not on the board. So, <laughs> subhanAllah, I actually thought it was boxing, but uh, apparently not. Okay, so what is known or which sport is known as the beautiful game? Is it hockey, golf, cricket or is it football? It indeed is football. And I think it was, was it Pele that described football as the beautiful game? Probably was. MashaAllah, right. Beautiful. Let's see who has moved slightly forward. Oh, Naruto, I see you there. Wolfmeister in the house. Mars, we've got some new players. And welcome, Ted, the teddy bear. In the house, mashallah. But Magical Rhino is still in first position, holding on to that gold medal, subhanAllah. He doesn't want to let go, right? Oh, be nice now, guys, subhanAllah. It is Ramadan, subhanAllah. Remember, you should always say, I am fasting. Right, question 10. In tennis, what piece of fruit is found at the top of the men's Wimbledon trophy. All right, I might have to ask one of my colleagues at the back there. In tennis, what piece of fruit is found at the top of the men's Wimbledon trophy? Is it a banana, a pineapple, an apple, or a strawberry? I just thought it was two tennis rackets. I never probably looked at that much. I have no idea, subhanAllah, but all of this fruit talk is getting me thirsty. It is indeed a pineapple. I need to check that. I've never really noticed the pineapple on that logo. What? SubhanAllah, there you go. Right, okay, let's check HNR. I hope that's not HMRC, subhanAllah. HMR or HNR is here. I wonder what that stands for. Perhaps if you get to the final, we'll find out. Simba is here, mashallah. And uh, the fastest there was Croc. So well done, Crocodile. Uh, we need you. We need you to push yourself a little bit faster to make it into the top three. You're edging on. And even Elsa, she's edging on to the top three. Will they make it? Next question of sports brothers and sisters question 11 and i heard yesterday we had a good food run i would have enjoyed that a lot more right in which country won the first fifa world cup in 1930 now this is something i do know subhanallah the first world cup was it brazil 
Was it Chile? Was it Argentino, Argentina? Sorry, or, or was it Uruguay? You can see, guys, it's getting closer to iftar time. Mashallah. Actually, I'm not quite sure at the moment which South American country won the FIFA World Cup. Ooh, okay. It was indeed Argentina. Yep, 45 families got that. Oh, sorry. It was Uruguay. Allah musta'an. Yes, I thought it was Argentina. It was Uruguay. They won. And I thought they was actually going to win uh, the world, the last World Cup that went. So well done for the 41 uh, contestants that got that correct. Let's take a look. Can we see the leaderboard? I'm dying to know if Magical Rhino is still there. Wow, wow, wow. We've seen it. Croc and Mars. Croc and Mars. SubhanAllah. And there is... Oh my goodness. What a flip upside down. And Samiha is in the house. Right, Crocodile. I told you. I believed in you, MashaAllah. But the fastest was Mars. Maybe at Iftar, you can have yourself a Mars bar, although there are other chocolates available. Right, let's move on, inshallah. Wonderful, wonderful. I love it when the tables flip upside down. Everyone has a chance in this show, subhanAllah. Right, let's go on to the next one. What is the national sport of Japan? What is the national sport? Is it fencing? Is it football? Is it sumo wrestling? Or is it karate? Is it karate, brothers and sisters? Yes, what is the national sport of Japan. Now, fencing, for those that don't know, is when two men or two women, they have the long pointy swords and they're just going like this with each other. Yeah, that's fencing, subhanAllah. And it is sumo wrestling. I'm not going to do an impression of that. Yeah, but 101 of you got that correct. It is sumo wrestling, a very traditional sport, very rich in culture, uh, links with Japan. Right, beautiful, beautiful question 13. But before we do so, is Croc... Still at the top. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay. All right. It was Elsa. I think it was the fastest in this round. MashaAllah. But still, you guys, we got Thinky is back in there. And we've got Ribbit. Ribbit the frog. He is back. And Magical Rhino was the fastest then. But has that made any movements on the board? No, they're in fourth position, subhanAllah. But it was actually Simba who got... The fastest round there, subhanAllah. So, well done for that, Simba. Right, okay. Let's go on to question 13. And don't give up, guys. Even if you think you're at the bottom, there's always chance. In golf, what term is used to den denote a score of one under par on a hole? In golf, what term is used to denote, sorry, to denote a score of one under par on a hole? Is it a birdie? Is it an eagle? Is it an albatross? Or is it a condor? Is it a condor, an albatross, an eagle, or a birdie? I know this one. Yep, it is a birdie indeed. Yep, for those that play golf, subhanAllah, it is. 74, have you got that correct? Well done. Yes, a birdie. Have you ever played golf, guys? It's a lost sport, I believe, anyway. And, mashallah, well done for that. 76, have you got it correct? And let's take a look. Magical Rhino, they fell, but they want to come back clawing and fighting. They are not going to let go without a fight this time. And it is Croc that has plummeted all the way down. And the top is Mars. Mars at the top. And then aliens, subhanAllah. The aliens are on Earth during Ramadan. Give them some dates and some water, subhanAllah. Right, let's check. Let's see what we have. Question 14. Brothers and sisters, we are three, two quarters of the way there. There's a lot of participation, 151 players. Fastest answer gets more points. What year was the first Super Bowl played? What year was the first Super Bowl played? Was it 1975? Was it 1976? 1965 or 1970? Now the Super Bowl, brothers and sisters, it is American football. That is right. It's one of the most expensive sporting events on the face of the planet it is the most watched event on the face of the planet as well. It is 19, yes, 1967. 66 correct, mashallah. And let's see where that leaves the teams on the board. It is beautiful. What a game. What a competition we have today. It's literally neck and neck. Let's take a look. Can we take a look at the leaderboard? Yep, yeah, before we do so, before we go on to the final round, Oh, Mars, I think you might have dropped there. And we've got Hola Hoop. Is it a Hola Hoop? Not a Hula Hoop. And it's Simba the Lion. SubhanAllah. All they're waiting for now is Mufasa. SubhanAllah. To hold them onto the top of the cliff. Yes. MashaAllah. And Magical Rhino in second position. Who was the fastest? 
that round. I think that is the end. Is that the end of this round, brothers? If we can just get a quick update on that. That is the end of this round. And brothers and sisters, look at where we are. Simba, fantastic work. Well done there, mashallah. Perseverance. And that is the Islamic concept of having patience. And you will get the rewards if you are patient. Look at that. And Mars, yes, well done. I, I, are we going to go for a quick break, inshallah? Or I think we might be just going on straight on to the third and final round, which is going to be the Islamic trivia round the islamic trivia subhanallah now this one is really where you need to put your islamic caps on this is round three we're talking about the religion of islam islamic knowledge and then we'll probably uh, go for a break halfway through right let's do this question 15 inshallah let's go and see where we are right how many times is the word quran used in the quran wow is it 75 is it 85 is it 100 or is it 70? The words Qur'an. We've got 10 seconds on there. SubhanAllah. For those people, maybe bring the Hafad of your family out tonight and ask them, inshallah. Ask those knowledgeable people, those people reciting from the Qur'an. It is indeed 70 times, right? And 40 of you got that right. SubhanAllah, that was quite a difficult one. But let's see where that lands the teams, inshallah, right? What we're going to do, brothers and sisters, can we now have a look now quickly? Inshallah, maybe we can see. Yep, yeah, let's get a quick one in before we go to break, inshallah. It was cro Crocodile. I'll tell you, Crocodile and the Rhino, they are going face to face. They want to know who is the king of the swamp, inshallah. We're going to go to a quick break and we'll be back for more questions. <laughs> This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours.
This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik Inna alhamdah wa ni'amata Yes, it is the final round, brothers and sisters. What a show, what a competition we have on our hands. There's been ups, there's been downs, and there's been a bit of, subhanAllah, uh, ruffling of the feathers, or could I say that, between some of the participants, mashaAllah. Just before the break, brothers and sisters, we took some of the questions from round three, which was the Islamic trivia quiz round. And let's take a quick update on the leaderboard, where we left it before we go to... The next couple of questions, yes, we the leaderboard stands with Simba, I believe. Is that Simba in the lead or is it Magical Rhino in the lead? Let's take a look. It is Simba is in the lead with 13,450 points, followed by Rhino, followed by the Croc. So it's the three animals, it's the lion, the rhino and the crocodile. That could be a new book, subhanAllah. Right, let's go to the next question. Uh, beautiful. Muslims of the Ummah. Let's take a look, inshallah. And Allah bless you, Allah increase you in knowledge and understanding. How many gates of Jannah are there? Now, I think this is a bit of an easy one. Come on. We're getting hot with these questions, so we should maybe test them a little bit further. But is it 7, 8, 9 or 10? How many gates of Jannah are there? The Abwabul Jannah. you got to go to the Islamic text and find these ones, brothers and sisters. Three questions, three seconds, two and one, let's find out. There are eight gates of Jannah. Yes, those who said seven. There are, brothers and sisters, seven gates to hellfire, eight gates to Jannah. One more for the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Beautiful. And we ask Allah for us to enter all of them. Ameen, in peace, or if at least one of them. Ameen. Yes, question 17. Before we do so, the leaderboard stands. Is it Simba? Oh, Nemo wants a piece of the pie tonight. Mashallah. I think Nemo is the fastest on that. But no, it was actually Ted. The teddy bear, fastest there. But it is Simba still in the lead. Simba, Rhino and Croc. Hula Hoop or Hola Hop, as they spelt it. I think they meant Hula Hoop. Uh, there are only uh, 146 players. Only 75 are shown, brothers and sisters. And on our screen, there are the only the top 10. Let's go with the next question. In which battle did some of the Muslim archers disobey the command of the Prophet Muhammad? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Which battle? Was it the battle of Al-Uhud? Was it the battle of Al-Khandaq? The battle of Badr? Or Tabuk? Which battle did they disobey? The Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Where he told them, Stay there. Don't move. But they went down anyway. It was Uhud. Yes, of course it was. The second battle of Al-Islam. And this was a pivotal uh, lesson. Why the Muslims did not uh, 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 overcome the enemy on that battle. Brothers and sisters, yes, think he was the fast and they've moved up to fifth position. Elsa, that's a nice little logo you got there. Let's show a bit of love to Elsa in the house. Assalamu alaikum, Elsa. And not forgetting Ashley as well, if that is a volcano emoji. Mashallah, wonderful, wonderful ground. Let's go on with the next question. Question 18. There's only three more, or four more questions left. What does Zamzam mean? I like this one. What does Zamzam mean, brothers and sisters? Does it mean pure, pure? Does it mean stop? Does it mean pure? Or does it mean stop, stop? Now, I think you at home, guys, you're looking at it saying it could only be one of two answers. Uh, but Zamzam, mashallah, I don't, I, I don't think I'm not even allowed to say what it is because it might give it away. But it means, does it mean stop or stop, stop? It means stop. Yes, it means stop. Uh, and the reference is go and read the story of Zamzam. Mashallah, beautiful story. We don't have really time to go into it now. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. All right, Mars and Metal, they are thinking their way, but thinking hollow hop, they have, oh my goodness, I think they may have dropped, have they? Oh, oh yep, they've dropped to 9th and 10th, but Simba... He's hanging on. He is the lion of the jungle tonight, subhanAllah. And they want to grow their way into Mecca. Rah, mashallah. Right, let's go. Question 19, inshallah. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the quest for Umar. Remember, only the top three can go through. Which sahaba, which companion of the Prophet, 
Did the Prophet Muhammad free from slavery? Which companion was freed from slavery during the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by himself? Was it Abu Huraira, Abdullah ibn Umar, Anas ibn Malik or Salman al-Farisi? Radiyallahu anhum ajma'in. Allah be pleased with all of them. Ameen. And it was Salman al-Farisi was the correct answer. The Persian Salman al-Farisi, subhanAllah, he had a great influence regarding the battle of the trenches. Al-Khandaq, it was his idea, basically. Yes, mashallah, question 19. That was 40 of you got that correct. Yes, 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 we like it. Let's see the leaderboard. Let's see who's winning. Let's see who is on their way to the finals. Mashallah, and Croc! They are not letting go tonight. Elsa saying, no, I'm not going to let go of this. This opportunity of a lifetime. And obviously, Ashley now, Croc, mashallah, the crocodile is back again. And do you guys know the difference between crocodiles and alligators? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, let's move on, inshallah. You thought I was going to say something profound there. I'll be honest with you. I thought I would have said, but nothing came out. All right, question 20 of 21. Ramadan Mubarak. Beautiful Ramadan competition. What Islamic year are we currently in? This year, now Gregorian, we're in 2024. Hijri, what are we in? 1445, 1444, 1443, or 1442. Islamically. And do you know which year you were born? Islamically. What is your Hijra date? Does anybody know that? Maybe you go and find out, inshallah. It is 1445. Yep. 1445, yep, 100 of you got that correct. Mashallah, nice. Triple number there. And let's see how that changes the leaderboard. Simba, Nemo, we've got Croc. Think he's there. Ribbit's in there as well. SubhanAllah, Ted's in there. Little teddy bear amongst the pack of animals. It is a jungle tonight, brothers and sisters. And all the animals are up for there. It is Croc still in pole position. Mashallah, Metal. Yep, you are in there as well. But the top three, it looks like Croc, Simba and Elsa may be going to the grand finale. These are the top 10, inshallah. Let's go on to our final question of tonight, inshallah. This is question 21 of 21. Make it count. What is the only surah in the Quran that does not start with Bismillah? What is the only surah in the Quran that doesn't start with Bismillah? Is it Surah Al-Kafirun? Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Tawbah, or Surah Al-Fatiha? I'll give you time to think. So it's a good one. And this is the one that you'll always find in the Masjid quizzes, the Sister Circle quizzes. Yep, it is Surah Al-Tawbah. SubhanAllah. And there is a wisdom why Bismillah was not revealed as part of this chapter of the Quran. MashaAllah. I think a better question would have been, what number Surah is Surah Al-Tawbah? I think that would have been a bit harder. But... Let's see, MashaAllah, after the break, we are going to come to give you the three top contestants that are going to the grand finale. Stay tuned, inshallah ta'ala, brothers and sisters. And don't forget to register. Don't forget to participate at imanchannel.tv forward slash quest for Umrah. Our next episode is next Saturday, inshallah, and next Sunday. And I believe there's one more after that on the Saturday, inshallah as the grand finale. Brothers and sisters, it's been an amazing, amazing competition and we want to see all of you participate, subhanAllah. Remember, participate with good cheer. Don't fight one another. It's only a bit of fun, but there can only be one winner and that winner is going to go bi'idhnillah to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we contribute £3,000 towards the journey, the trip, uh, towards that and all you have to do if you're in the top three if you uh, then send a screenshot to us inshallah uh, with the email attached to the bottom of the screen inshallah and a contact number inshallah there's an email that will come up on the screen send the screenshot there and brothers and sisters you are on your way to the final subhanallah we're going to check you after the break to give you the final scores on the doors as they call it brothers and sisters and check this one out because it is going to be a real humdinger <laughs> This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours.
This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours. We are back, brothers and sisters. Yes, and it is that time of show that you've all been waiting for, subhanAllah, especially the contestants. Did you make it to the top three? Are you going to the finals? Now, brothers and sisters, if you didn't make it, there's always chance next week, inshallah, to see if you have a chance, inshallah. Well, let's take a look at the leaderboard and see the top three, inshallah. Now, this is accumulation of all the rounds. And is it, is it, brothers and sisters, well, and it looks like Magical Rhino, have they made it? Oh, so it's Croc as first position. Croc, you are going to the finals. SubhanAllah, yes, well done. Mabrook, Mabrook, Mabrook. Congratulations. In second place, it is Simba. And in third place, it is Elsa, the princess. They're going to, inshallah ta'ala, towards the finals. Uh, may Allah Azza wa bless you. Remember to take a screenshot of... Uh, the screen that comes on your mobile device and send an email to quest for umrah at iman tv inshallah ta'ala they they are the winners we love it brothers and sisters we're going to check you next episode inshallah for the next uh, round inshallah we give you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh <laughs> لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours <تصفيق> <تصفيق> <تصفيق>